What up, it's the pilot. Scroll down, hit the like button. So hey, I hear that Carhartt is the new wave right now, which Carhartt has been around for a long time, but nobody was really on it, and it's all of a sudden it's a big deal. Well, I bought into the hype, right? I have a couple of pieces that are brand new, a couple of pieces that I thrifted, and I want to show you guys what I'm into and what I got. Now, um, the best looking ones, honestly, are the vintage ones so they look beat up like they got them from a trucker or something, which is really, really cool, especially when it's naturally weathered. Some people I've even seen online, I've seen videos of people like getting a brand new jacket and putting like rocks and dirt in <laughs> Rice and dirt in a, a pillowcase with the jacket and put it in a cycle in the dryer and stuff or just them trying to bury it in their backyard to make it look old. It's just crazy. But I think it's a cool concept. Um, I got a bunch of pieces from a uh, got a bunch of pieces from a thrift shop for really, really cheap. And those were the best ones that I got. But I want to show you what I have. I think I have about I think I have about six or seven Carhartt jackets slash hoodies together, and I want to show you real quick. This first one I got is a brown one. I don't know the name of it. I don't know the name. It's supposed to have a hood on it. I'm pretty sure. Um, you see the buttons right here, but it's a, it's a chocolate brown jacket, and you can see that it's weathered really good in the front. Um, I got this jacket for about I think I got it for like 30 or 40 bucks on the consignment shop. I can't tell you guys, don't get mad at me. I can't tell you my consignment shop that I'm getting this stuff from because I'm finding a lot of gems. Once I wear it out, I'll let you know and I'll tell you all about it. But I got this jacket from there and um, it fits me extremely well. This is a jacket that I'm, I'm going to keep. Um, this is a trunk jacket that I keep in the trunk for when it gets cold and when I need extra layer of, of clothes and when it's cold outside, I always, you guys, this is another tip you guys got, to always keep a jacket, some type of jacket in the trunk of your car or the trunk of your, your vehicle. But this is gonna be a trunk jacket in one of my vehicles. And uh, yeah, so far it's been holding up pretty good. I only wore it once or twice, but I really, really like this jacket. This, this next tan jacket, this is a brand new one that I bought on Amazon last year, I haven't really worn it yet. I probably wore it one time like to on a, like a, uh, a supermarket run, but I got it in a size large. If you guys wanna know about the size, um, I'm 6'6", 240, 250, depending on how much I ate that week. And um, this is a large on me and it fits me pretty fitted. If I want to go baggy, I'm going to exhale. So just to give you guys an idea of uh, what size you want to get. I would go true to size if you want it baggy. I would go a size down in car if you want it to be fitted. So yeah, this is pretty cool. It has a, the uh, corduroy collar on it, but it's not weathered yet. I'll show you the difference. So I have another jacket and this is the difference between the weather. So this is this is the same. I got a hoodie. This is from the Simon shop, uh, a thrifting shop, and it has Borger Refinery. I don't know what it is, but you can see the difference. This is a brand new one, and this is one that's been worn and weathered and stuff. And this one looks a little bit cooler because it has like this ashy hue to it. This one looks brand new. I like got it out of the box or whatever. But talking about the next one, yeah, I got this one. I think I paid like twenty bucks for this. Um, what's what's cool is finding like the ones with someone's name on it and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, this is basically just like a standard zip up hoodie. What size is this? This is an XL, so it fits me a little baggy, but it's actually my true size in um, outerwear. So yeah, this is another one. I think it's really, really cool. It says Phillips 66, Borger Refinery. I don't know where that is. I don't know if it's in Borger, Texas, but this is really cool. Call Hart Jagger. All right, to follow that hoodie up, I have another ho hoodie. Uh, it looks like it's denim material, but I don't think it is. It feels like denim material. You guys may be more knowledgeable of this stuff than me. I got it in a size large. It fits me fitted. Um, it fits me like it's tailored. Um, you guys see how cool it is when it gets all beat and weathered. And what's funny is from the thrift shop, it looks like it might stink or something, but it never does. Um, it says Summit. I don't know what company this is. Halliburton Service. I don't know what that is. Maybe I'll look that up. And then this actually is really cool when they have somebody's name on it. Dude's name is Stephen, Stephon. 
Um, this is really, really, really cool. So, yeah, I like this. This is gonna be something I'm gonna wear a lot as well. This one, I got this joint, a denim one, which is hard to find, a Carhartt denim hoodie. It's hard to find. I got this in Tokyo when I was out there. What's crazy is, a lot of times in Tokyo, you can tell that this probably is from someone, they thrift, uh, this, I got it from the thrift shop in Japan, but I'm pretty sure the person that turned this in or where they got this from is not a Japanese person. Cause this is like 2X. This is like a 2X, most, most sizes in uh, Japan, they don't go past a large, really, US size large. Um, maybe an XL you get lucky, but this is a really, really good piece. It's weathered as well. The material is really soft because it's old. And you guys can see kind of like the fran of it and the, and the, the dust balls in there on the inside. But yeah, this is a good one too. This next one, I think I got this one for like 10 or 15 bucks from this. But this is like a flannel, uh, insulated flannel. This one is really dope. This is a 2X um, Dallas Cowboys colorway. Can't lose with that. Nothing extremely special to talk about this. This is just a flannel, insulated flannel. And um, this is a pretty good thing too, especially with me being a Cowboys fan and being football season. I can wear this over my Cowboys gear when I go watch a game or whatever it may be. But even without the Cowboys stuff, this is still a good piece. It has a little bit of bleaching right here. And what's funny is like, when, at one point before all this distressing and all that other stuff came about, we would be mad that this would be there. But, now it's one of those things where oh that's pretty cool it has a little bit of bleach on it i mean the person it means the person that walked before me did a little work in it right it seems more authentically worn in right so insulated flannel this next one is another carhartt hoodie it's navy i think i got this off of amazon as well last year i've worn this a few times i really like how warm this jacket is guys you know, uh, Carhartt and Dickies are, from what I know, the Dickies brand, Carhartt, they're like uh, Nick and Nick as far as like what they do and what type of apparel they have, work apparel. And those are the only two brands I even know about that has work apparel that's like public to the public or whatever, um, that's popular. But um, this reminds me a lot of Dickies and Dickies remind me a lot of Carhartt. But the way this jacket, I haven't seen a Dickies jacket that's put together this well with the zippers like this. You see this big old gold zipper right here. It's a high quality zipper. Um, yeah, man, this is a really good find for me. And uh, yeah, this is a good thing to have in my collection. And the last piece, I got really lucky on this. Um, I only spent about 20, 20 or 30 bucks on it. And if you guys go online right now, you won't be able to find this jacket. Brand new, and I don't think Carhartt makes it anymore. But I have a Carhartt denim trucker jacket. Like, this is amazing. Only thing that sucks is it's a 2X, so it runs a little thing. Yeah, it is a 2X. But it's a 2X, guys. I don't know the size of the table is. But it's a 2X, and it's a little bit baggy, but I can make it work just like. I don't know from what from what decade this jacket is from, but this is amazing that I have this in my collection. And I only got it for 20 bucks. Guys, some of these consignment shops that are selling, some of these thrifting shops that are selling Carhartt pieces, they're charging like three, four hundred bucks for jackets like this and jackets like some of these other ones, like that other denim hoodie that I had, uh, because they're hard to find and Carhartt doesn't make them anymore. So um, make it one day guys and I'll share with you guys where I got it from. If you beg me or you're nice enough or you ask me politely enough, I'll let you know. You just hit me up in the DM or whatever on my Instagram and at the style parlor. But hey, guys let me know what you think about Carhartt. Are you guys into it? Um, are you following the trend right now? Do you care about it or is this, uh, it is what it is? I, a lot of people I know um, that are in the fashion, I've seen seeing them on their YouTube pages and stuff wearing Carhartt stuff if they're not talking about or making pickup videos and everything about it. So um, it's, a, it's a lot bigger with the younger crowd. When I say younger crowd, I mean like, you know, like 35 and, and, and below or, or like, you know, like 15, 15 to 30. So a lot of people are into it, but I like, I picked up some pieces and one of the main reasons I got into 
picking up so many pieces that I got because I found at the sign shop to get some a lot of this stuff that would chalk. It would cost me three, four hundred bucks, two, three hundred bucks for a jacket like this. I'm getting it for twenty bucks. So but anyway, hey man, like, comment, subscribe, and always remember, don't you ever forget that you are the flyest motherfucker on planet Earth. I'll see you guys later.